Creating process lists is just a formality and one of most necessary tools after getting access. It's like to save results of task manager into file. This is how it works. Like you see we have every process in system with handle to it. I shouldn't tell you that but real hackers use that first to getting information about security. Then install exactly same programs and check rest of tools to avoid detection. Here we have handle to process snapshot. Here is entry process tracked, which looks like this. Creating process snapshot and checking results. If this function fails, then we exiting app. This flag tells function that we want all processes. This field have to be filled up before we use this struct. Here we are getting first process data by process first function. First argument is our prod snap handle. Second struct to fill up by prods info. If this fails, then we are closing handle to snapshot and exiting app. It's similar method to finding files by these functions. That usage you could see in my ASM virus example. Here we are creating table for PID and process name. We have to use the while loop because first process info is already in struct. Here we are printing first process info, process ID and process name. Executing this loop until process next function returns zero. 29 lines of code of very powerful invigilation tool. Of course, this is just demo. Full version of this code is much more complicated and don't even exify. And that's how you get list of every process in Windows. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and always pay attention to file extension.